ओके वी थैंक अवर लॉर्ड एंड अवर ऑलमेटी गॉड फॉर गिविंग दिस वंडरफुल अपॉर्चुनिटी इट डे इन अवर लाइफ टू मेडिटेट अपॉन गॉड्स वर्ड्स सो लास्ट फ्यू वीक्स वी आर स्टडीड अबाउट अवर लॉर्ड सेकंड कमिंग how the manner of a lord second coming will be and we are clearly seen that uh, his uh, uh, resurrection uh, was in a spiritual body and jesus appeared many times to the disciples in a spiritual body so how we could assume uh, different different bodies it was because he was in angelic nature for 40 days so at last he appeared to apostle paul <coughs> on the way to damascus and uh, apostle paul saw him and uh, his eyes were blinded that is the reason apostle paul says that uh, last of all was seen by me uh, let us read that verse first corinthians 158 brother mosam brother uh, okay brother first corinthians 158 right mm. uh, 158 is written like this uh in last of all he was seen of me also as of one born out of due time so we have seen this expression also what is the meaning of one born out of due time so last of all means uh, after this uh, nobody can see and before this nobody has seen jesus in this nature so he saw jesus in a bright shine the glory the divine nature so what happened apostle paul eyes was blinded so if you take it literally that jesus is going to come like this one with a bright shining then does jesus come to blind everybody's eyes no the bible says uh, in uh, you see uh, revelation 17 that every eye shall see him so this brings us to the third point uh, where we need to study how does jesus come because in revelation 17 clearly says that every eye shall see him read with the revelation 17 revelation 17 okay revelation 17 okay uh behold he come with clouds and every eye shall see him and they also which uh priest him and all in race of earth shall will because of him even so amen they they will come with clouds and every eye shall see him and even they that pierced him shall uh, see and veil at him so if literally jesus is going to come that every eye shall see him in a spiritual body eh? And do you think that uh, Jesus is going to come uh, along with the angels? The Bible says that he is going to come along with the angels uh, in the book of Jude. You see, with the angelic, uh, you see, glory. Uh, if Jesus is going to come like this one, uh, uh, is it uh, uh, the right way? So let us see uh, the glory of the angels in the Bible. See, when uh, Jesus uh, <coughs> was resurrected, there were two angels uh, who were uh, sitting uh, at the grave of uh, jesus uh, and how are they if you read in the bible it says they were full of brightness they were very bright uh, and uh, shining uh, let us read matthew uh, matthew uh, matthew 28 chapter brother 2 and 3 brother okay brother Matthew twenty two and three is written like this, uh, and behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven, and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. Its hmm. uh, countenance was like lightning, and his uh, ri- raiment white as snow. See, white as snow, very lightning is him, sir. Just imagine the angels itself uh, are so bright, means. Uh, Imagine Jesus coming with all the angels, with the heaven will be totally lit with uh, light. Uh, is it the way that Jesus is going to come? Let us read one more verse uh, in Acts twelve chapter. Brother, how the angels appear? Uh, Acts twelve chapter, verse uh, seven. Acts twelve seven. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side and raised up, raised him up, saying. arise quickly and See, he said, okay and he says behold the angel of the lord came upon him and the light shined in the prison 
Imagine the light shining in a prison means it is not a uh, ordinary light. It is a very bright shining light. This is the glory and the brightness of an angel. And we also know the story of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah where the angels visited uh, their uh, you see, place and they were uh, in the house of uh, Lot and when everybody came and knocked uh, and they wanted to know the, knew the angels, uh, the angels uh, opened the door and everybody's eyes were blinded. This is the power of the angel. Then do you think that the Jesus uh, will come in this glory, in the angelic body so that he can appear to everybody? See, let us read a few verses how Jesus will come. Revelation 11 chapter, uh, sorry, 19 chapter 11 verse, brother. Revelation 19, 11, brother. And I saw heaven upon, and behold a white horse, and his that set upon him was called Faithful and True. And in righteousness he does judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. Mm. Continue. 14th verse, still 14th verse. Ah, okay. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of Word of God. Mm -hmm. And his and the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. See, here and out says, of his... Okay, here yeah. it says Jesus uh, will come upon a white horse, and his eyes, how his eyes will be? His eyes uh, will be uh, full of uh, flame of fire. It seems. Flame and fire. And uh, yeah. a sword goes from his uh, mouth. It seems. Uh, and he has an iron rod to rule the whole world. The army is, uh, is following him. It seems. Uh, so this is the, one of the description of Jesus' second coming. Read one more verse. Revelation chapter 20, verse 11, brother. Huh? Mm. And I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it. From whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. See, Jesus sat upon a white throne, it seems, sir. And before him, the heaven fled away. So Jesus will be sitting on a white uh, throne. And read Revelation 14 14, brother. Okay, brother. And I looked, and behold, a white cloud, and upon the cloud one set like unto the Son of Man, having on his head. A golden crown and in his hand a sharp sickle. Ah, in his hand a sharp sickle. Now what did he do? Verse 19, brother. Huh? And the angel light thrust in his skull into the earth and gathered the wine of the earth and cast it into the great wine press of the worth of God. See? He used the sickle. And uh, you see, harvested the wine and put it in the wine press of the wrath of God. See, this all was uh, gives us a description how Jesus will come in the second coming. That means what Jesus is going to come in a spiritual body where everybody can see the spiritual body. And how will be Jesus? He will be in the sky. Uh, thousands of angels will be there. And behind them, thousands of armies will be following. His eyes will be like flame. He will be having in one, one hand a sword, other hand a sickle, in other hand a iron rod to rule the whole world. You see, is this the way that Jesus is going to come? And uh, moreover, Jesus when he is going to come at second coming, he is not going to come and rule on this earth for one day or uh, one uh, hour or just a few period. He is going to rule for a thousand years. Imagine if Jesus, uh, with such type of description, he is going to rule for a thousand years in the sky, so that every eye can see him. Uh, do you think uh, it uh, really works out? See, uh, really seeing everybody as soon as they come out from the house, uh, seeing Jesus in this nature uh, every day, like uh, shining brightly, like a sun in the sky. Is this the way that uh, Revelation 1 7 says that every eye shall see him? No, dear brother. So we should understand what is the meaning of see in the Bible. So last time I think, uh, you see, Ashish brother would have clearly explained to you. See, we should understand the divine plan. We have already been studying this God's plan from the beginning till now. So in the divine plan, whatever God works, God works out symmetrically. So nothing it does in an awkward way. 
So in Revelation 1 7, it says, Every eye shall see means what is the meaning of this one? See, we know the book of Revelation. Book of Revelation is a symbolic book, it's not a literal book at all. See, Revelation 1 1. The Revelation book is a symbolic book. It is given there only. Revelation 1 1, brother. Huh? The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to see unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass, and he then and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Okay, signify. Signify means what? He did not come and tell or reveal a show. He says signify. Signify means sign language. Each and everything was shown in signs, in sign language, symbolic language. Therefore, in the first class, we study the how to study the Bible. There are different languages in the Bible. And one of the languages is a symbolic language. So each and everything written in the book of Revelation is a symbol. They show a candlestick having seven lampstands, seven stars. You see, all these represents seven churches. Each and every meaning has to be decoded from the Bible itself. So similarly, in Revelation 1-7, it says, when it says that every eye shall see him, even those who pierced him shall see means what? How can those who pierce Jesus see Jesus at the second coming? They are all dead and gone. They are all in the grave. They will only awaken after the second coming of Jesus. So before the second coming of Jesus, how can they come out from the grave and see Jesus coming? Hence, this verse is a symbolic verse. This is not a direct verse at all. This is a, you see, has got a spiritual meaning. Therefore, see in the Bible means what? See in the Bible means understand, perceive. Like for example, when uh, uh, Adam and Eve ate the forbidden fruit in the Garden of Eden, we read in the Bible, the Bible says that uh, their eyes were opened. Isn't it? Read Genesis 3, 7, brother, please. Genesis no, okay, 3, 7, brother. brother. Huh. And the eyes of them both were opened and they knew that they were naked. And the sweet fig leaves together and make made themselves aprons. See, their eyes uh, of them were opened. What does it mean? That means God, uh, did he create them blind? And after eating the fruit, only their eyes were opened? That means they could not see at all? Is it this the meaning of uh, eyes were opened, brother? <laughs> no. No. So eyes means what? Eyes of understanding. They could clearly see. But uh, when they ate the forbidden fruit... That is the time that they could understand. Therefore, the verse says, and they knew that they were naked. They realized that they were naked. So, the eyes of understanding were opened. Therefore, you see, in the Bible, Jesus also says, no, huh? he that has eyes, let him let him what? Uh, he that has eyes, let him uh, let him hmm. see. Ah, he that has ears, let him here. Here. Very good. Read Matthew 13 chapter. Brother. Matthew 13 chapter 9th verse. Mm, nice. Uh, who that ears to hear, let him hear. Mm. And the disciple okay. nine only, right? See, he that has ears, let him hear. Similarly, read verse 13. Brother. 13. Uh, Therefore, speak I to them in parables because they sing see not. Huh? And hearing the uh, ah, seeing they see not what they mean. Seeing they see not means what? Uh, if they see, they should clearly understand. No, yes, yeah. saying they are seeing it, they are not they are not perceiving it, they are not understanding it. This is the meaning of see in the Bible. Read again verse 16 also, brother. Uh, uh, but bless are your eyes, hmm. for they see. And your ears for the hear. Ah, so Jesus was speaking about spiritual eyes and spiritual ears of understanding. So this is how and this is the meaning that is given in Revelation 1-7 also. It is not literal eyes of understanding at all. Not literal eyes of seeing. It's the eyes of understanding. Like for example, you see huh, the God of this world. Satan, no? He is the God of this world. What has he done? He has blinded the eyes of many. Blinded the eyes of human kind. No? Yeah. Uh, read. Yeah. Second Corinthians four four. Brother, read. Second Corinthians four four. Four okay, four. Uh. Okay. Uh, in whom the God of this world hmm. had blinded the mind of them which believe not. 
Wait, wait, wait. Now is he blinded? Shaitan, how is he blinded? The eyes of many. Literally, he is blinded. Ah. No, they are having the eyes, but they are not able to understand it. Ah. They are not able to perceive it, recognize it. Ah. This yeah. is the eyes of understanding. Therefore, the Bible says that after coming to Christ, our eyes are enlightened. Read Ephesians 1, 18, brother. Uh, Ephesians 1, 18, okay. The eyes of your understanding being in, enlightened mm. that you may know mm. what is the hope of his mm. calling and mm. what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. You see, ah, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. Uh -huh. This is the eyes uh, which Apostle Paul is speaking. This is the eyes which Apostle John also is speaking in the book of Revelation. Therefore, you see, the Bible says... Uh, that uh, our warfare is with uh, spiritual, uh, you see, uh, uh, powers and principalities uh, in the, you see, spiritual world, invisible world. Correct, no? No, how yeah, is it? Uh, is it literally that we are fighting with uh, angels, fallen angels and the devil day by day? No, it is a spiritual fight. Uh, you see, it is with our eyes of understanding that we are having this warfare. Read Ephesians 2.2 2 and Ephesians 6.12, brother. Uh, okay, brother. Uh, uh, where in in the past in the time past you walk according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the ear, the spirit that now working in the children of disobedience. See the spirit that worketh in the children of disobedience. How is he working? Is he literally coming to them, sitting next to them, visibly? You see, he's an angel, isn't it? But is he as a angelic body? Is he appearing to everybody and speaking to them? No. Invisibly. Though he is an angel having a spiritual body, he is ruling invisibly from the earth atmosphere. He is just influencing the wicked people to do more wickedness. The disobedient people, you see, to disobey more God's words. Correct, no? Correct, no, brother? Is he literally coming to us? Is a fallen angel literally sitting next to us? Huh? Are they visible to us? No. They are not visible. Is, are they visible, brother? Satan and the fallen angels? Invisible. Ah, invisible. See? They are where are they? They are in the earth atmosphere ruling from there. Invisible. Isn't it? Huh? Yeah. Now, how do we recognize that Satan is the one who is ruling? Can we see him? Uh, no. Uh, because he does the work like... Uh, he, the people are doing disobedience, no? Very good. Uh, uh, very good. Brother. Wicked work. Seeing the wicked yeah, work wicked happening. Work. Yeah, based can... on this one, based on the signs, based on the activities that are happening, we can clearly identify that it is done by the devil. Correct now? Yeah, brother. Uh, read Ephesians 6 12 also, brother. Uh, Ephesians 6 12. Okay, brother. Uh, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. We fight uh, our warfare. Now do we fight? Uh? Do we literally fight with them? Huh? Against? Yes. Uh, yeah. Only in our mind. We don't literally yeah. fight with them. Correct, brother? Yeah, brother. See, all those things uh, that uh, evil thoughts uh, which generates in our mind, which uh, Satan and the fallen give us, motivate us to walk away from God. See, this is the warfare we are fighting. This is invisible. Uh. So, how are we able to recognize that these are the evil activities? Uh? It is only because of the signs. Uh. Therefore, you see, how we have seen, you see, so many parts. Uh. Okay? Now, we will see how to identify Jesus. Then, if this, uh, you see, uh, where if Jesus is going to come, no one to identify Jesus, uh, not with literal eyes. Uh. Therefore, last time Ashish Padabra told you the eyes, yeah. uh, uh, seeing means uh, it's meaning optimize. Optimize is a Greek word that means actually perceiving or understanding. So, yeah. how do we understand and how to identify Jesus' incoming means Jesus himself gave us a clue. Hey, let us read Matthew 24 3.
and uh, as he said unto the mount of olives the disciples came unto him privately saying tell us when shall these things be and what shall we be the sign of the coming and of the end of the world uh, see what did the disciples ask jesus the disciples asked jesus huh? lord what shall be the sign of the coming and the end of the world correct huh? yeah now for this question jesus should have simply replied don't worry just see the sky i'll be coming in the clouds i'll be sitting on a white throne i'll be having a sword in my hand and a sickle in the other hand i will rule the whole world with a rod of iron my eyes will be flame of fire everybody will come back from the grave you see and uh, everybody will stand in the judgment even those who killed me they will see me so why are you worried you will also see me jesus could have told all these things no correct no yeah brother or else simply jesus would have told see the sky i'll i'll come just keep on watching the sky he could have told no but jesus did not uh, tell this answer but what did jesus say let us read in should have gotten what did jesus say matthew 24 chapter brother uh, verse 26 brother ha huh? uh, okay brother verse 26 hmm. uh, wherefore ever if they shall say unto you hmm. behold he is in the desert no not for behold he is in the secret a uh, secret chambers believe it not see what is jesus warned na he said therefore if somebody shall say he is in the desert don't believe it don't go don't believe it what does it mean na if somebody claims that jesus has come literally from heaven in a desert in a somalia desert in the desert of israel he has landed your second coming he has come don't believe it See, Jesus clearly wants, don't believe it, because his second coming won't be a visible presence. So, don't believe it. Now, what does next Jesus say? Behold, if he says, Jesus has come in a secret chamber, believe it not also. What does it mean, secret chamber? I was praying to the Lord. You see, Jesus appeared to me. He came and talked with me. He came and had tea with me. and he told son don't worry this nation i have chosen you some people will tell i was jogging i'm praying and jogging jesus came along with me he jogged along with me and immediately he went to heaven ha huh? what does jesus say don't believe any of these things sir jesus doesn't come in a secret chamber in a room or in a prayer room in a hall nothing neither does he come in a somalia desert so everybody can see him okay that is the reason you see huh eh? for the question of the disciples jesus gave a appropriate answer now what did the disciples ask eh? read that verse again brother matthew 24 3 uh. matthew 24 3 right brother hmm. Hmm. yeah uh in as he sat upon the mount of olives the disciples came on to him privately saying tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of the coming what shall be the sign of the world sign of yeah. the coming why did they ask the sign sir you see because when jesus is going to return he is going to return invisibly and to return one who is invisible to identify we need a sign that is the reason the identification to identify is a second coming a sign is required like for example you see imagine huh, if uh, we are traveling uh, in a train if we go to the train platform huh, there will be a sign board the train is going to come at such and such time and such and such place the bogey will come and stay, stand so this is a sign the sign is for what the sign is for the prior coming of the train so similarly signs are required to identify jesus second coming you see when we are telling about jesus second coming jesus himself tells how to identify jesus and how he is going to come read matthew 24 27 brother 24 27 brother for as the lightning come out of the east and shine even unto the west 
so shall also the coming of the son of man be uh, see how does uh, jesus come it seems he says as the lightning cometh out from the east and shineth even unto the west so also the coming of the son of man be it seems huh? now you tell me huh? as the lightning cometh from huh? east to west see this is the lightning yeah now lightning is coming from which direction to which direction brother lightning it is coming from which direction to which direction can you identify the direction of this lightning mm, actually um, it is to... coming from all direction how can you identify it yeah all direction yeah so lightning doesn't have a direction correct huh? yeah yeah but here jesus tells uh, that it will come from a particular direction which direction read it again east to west ah which direction brother east to west east to west uh, now you tell me which is the thing which comes from exactly from the east to west every day east to west one thing will come which is the one every day will come uh, sun very good see this word the bright shining what they put it is from the greek word astrape which means bright shining you know which is the bright shining which comes exactly from the east to west east yeah. it is the sun it is speaking about the sun jesus is telling as the sun comes from the east to west slowly thus shall the coming of the son of man be now is jesus compared uh, somewhere in the bible to sun uh yeah i think yes read malachi 42 malachi 42 okay brother oh. but unto you that hear that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings oh. and you shall know for and grow up as cliffs of the stall uh, see the son of righteousness shall rise with healing with his wings rise how does the sun rise does it come suddenly and go suddenly like a lightning no 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 oh see this is how jesus second coming will be you know the translators particularly in this place they were translated as lightning why because they don't know when, when jesus is going to come they know that suddenly jesus will come and suddenly will go that's all that is the reason to suit their idea they were translated as lightning actually lightning doesn't have any direction which is a thing that has direction from east to west that is the sun and jesus is compared to the sun not lightning in the bible so jesus second coming is going to be like a sun rising slowly from east to west now how does the sun rise you tell me sun rise as three stages early morning correct one stage is there yeah. around 5:00 uh, uh, 6:00 o'clock that's the early morning those who wake up early they can see the sun but 9:00 uh, o'clock 9:00 o'clock moderately those who are all uh, you see uh, already woken up they can see that uh, uh, the sun but by noon everybody will clearly come to know that sun is already risen it is because it will be on the you see on a head uh, you see so this is uh, the way the sun rises it has got three stages uh, so similarly jesus second coming has got three stages the first stage is called as parousia second stage is called as epiphania and the third stage is called as apocalypse now what is this uh, parousia ap apocalypse epiphania these are the three greek words used for the second coming of our lord okay now like for example uh, the word coming in the bible you see it is actually from the greek word called as parousia parousia actually means presence you see uh, that comes uh, uh, in matthew only we'll read uh, uh, that verse brother matthew 24 37 read brother please <clears throat> but as the days of new were so shall also the coming of the son of man be say noah actually you read from the bible you are reading from the screen no yeah brother okay actually it is noah but as the days of noah were so shall also the coming of the son of man be coming coming means what coming means appearance 
Uh, coming means appearance. Has it come or is going to come or uh, already come? Uh, I mean, we come together. No, no, no. Coming means what? Uh, has he already come or is going to come? He is going to come. Going to come. Very good. Correct. But actually, this Greek word parousia doesn't mean he is going to come. It means presence. What does it mean? Presence. Presence. Presence means what? Already present. I'll give you an example. <clears throat> See, in the school, they take attendance. Correct now? Roll number one. The student will tell what? Present, sir. Present, sir. Roll number two. Present, sir. If it is a Greek classroom, when the teacher takes the attendance, if she calls roll number one, the student will tell Parosha, madam. Parosha means what? Not that I'm okay. coming. I am already come, madam. I am inside the class. Yeah. This is the meaning of the word parosia. The Greek word from Strong's Concordance is 3952. You can go and search it in a concordance, brother. Okay? So, parosia means presence, not it's coming. Okay, brother? Yeah. Okay, I'll prove it from the Bible. No, no need for this Greek word also. Okay? Now, Matthew 24, 37, you read what did he say? As in the days of Noah, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Correct, brother? Yeah. Now the same verse comes in book of Luke. Read book of Luke. Luke 17, 7, 26. 26 verse. Read from the Bible. If you have the Bible, okay. you, you are having the Bible with you? Yeah, I have Bible with okay, me. Please, please open the Bible. Compare these two verses and read for yourself. Okay, brother. Luke 17. In, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. Uh, what did it say, brother? See, it said, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the Son of Man. No, no, no. So shall also it be in the in the days of the Son of Very Man. Very good, brother. In the days. In Matthew, it said, so shall it also be at the coming of Son of Man. Correct, now? Yeah. There the word coming, in book of Luke, it is translated as in his days. Correct? Yeah. Ah, Now, what is the meaning of in his days? I'll tell you. See, in his days, meaning of in his days. Huh? During the days of Noah. The comparison is days of Noah and the days of Son of Man. Correct, brother? Yeah. Now, during the days of Noah, Noah was present or not? Noah was present. He was there. He was there. He was present. Correct? Huh? Yeah. So, similarly, in the days of Son of Man means Son of Man should be present or not? I think he must need to be present. He must be present. Hence, this translation in Matthew 24 chapter is a wrong translation. See, Matthew 24 chapter, brother, 24 chapter 3rd verse, 24 chapter 27th verse, 37th verse, 39th verse, all these words is actually the Greek word parousia, 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 parousia. But the translators, they were translated everywhere as coming, 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 coming. Because if you put as presence, then everybody will put a question now. Sir, this is saying about Jesus' presence. Please tell us that. How can they tell? They themselves don't know about second coming. They themselves don't know and don't study about the Bible at all. So how can they answer the question? Hence, they removed the word presence everywhere and put coming. But if you have a proper translation of the Bible, you can read. You have Nepali Bible with you, brother? Yeah, brother, I have. Read Matthew 24.3. Let us see how does it come. Uh, okay, brother, I'll read. Isu Joytun Dadama Bosnu, da Tiraharu Ekantama Uha Ka Aira Sude Amila Bonuhos, Ikura Kohide Unesan, Tatapaika Agamon, Ris Yuka Ontekochina Kiunesa. Ah, Agamon, correcta? 
they given agaman yeah. agaman is not coming coming ah uh, if you see other translation it gives as presence rodraham translation is there we'll send after you after to after the class to you in the group okay so there the word presence is correctly translated so actually it means the presence the disciples question the lord what are the signs of thy presence not that what are the signs of thy coming lord you believe that we are when you are there what things will happen that is the question actually jesus uh, answered uh, you see and while telling the first warning jesus gives don't believe anybody if they say that jesus has come in the desert or in the room why so many people tell no jesus has come and spoken to them like this like that and huh? better ask jesus no lord what is uh, your time what is the second coming date please tell us when are you going to come permanently you are coming and visiting me uh, again and again and going why don't you come permanently second coming uh? ask can ask no why don't nobody ask uh? because this is what the bible says uh, you see now let us see what is the signs of uh, jesus second presence not jesus second coming uh, the signs of his presence that means the, what all signs uh, did jesus give to identify whether he is present in between us or not in a spiritual body invisible to us if jesus is present how to identify imagine see in matthew 24 chapter see how many verses are there 51 verses are there correct no now if jesus uh, uh, ever wanted to tell about uh, his uh, coming that it would be visible jesus could have simply answered just see the sky i'll be coming instead of that one he has given so many signs uh, correct no why he give signs uh, because uh, he is going to return invisible in a spiritual body to identify one who is in a spiritual body and invisible these signs are necessary by these signs we can clearly identify whether jesus has returned or not how how we are able to identify the satan is the god of this world by the signs and activities that are happening we can clearly identify similarly it is with the jesus second presence got it brother most of brother clearly yeah brother now let us see what are the signs of his second presence okay brother the presence the signs of his second presence okay now what did jesus say read matthew 24 4 5 and 6 brother 24 for 5 and 6 mm. and jesus answered and said unto them take heed that no man deceive you for many shall come in my name saying i am christ and shall deceive many See? and you shall... many shall yeah. come in the name of christ and deceive many it seems sir so you should be yeah. very careful how they will deceive continue ha huh? and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars uh-huh. saying that you see yeah. you shall hear about wars and rumors of wars as soon as we kept our foot to the 19th century there was a great world war you see first world war happened then after a few years second world war happened you see after that one you see every year almost there is a war russian civil war spanish civil war arab israel war korean war vietnam war you see ha huh? afghan war iran iraq war kuwait war gulf war syrian war mexico crisis yemen crisis sri lanka ltt war india pakistan kargil war myanmar war Li- libya egypt war taliban you see isis you see ha huh? armenia azerbaijan Now recently yeah. who are warring ukraine russia huh? israel hamas lot yeah. of wars you on the tv the tv will be continuously showing breaking news breaking news breaking news war 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 what does the bible say jesus said the sign of his presence what is the sign of his presence the first sign is that war and rumors of war now can we see war yes the world is preparing for the third world war very soon correct no this is not told by us the news people itself they tell them. seeing the world situation they are clearly assuming that very shortly what will happen third world war will happen correct no brother yeah brother huh? already the world the news people only they are telling worldly people they don't know about the bible but then they are telling russia 
we stand in the world war iran will come in the world war israel will come in the world war you see how they are able to identify it that is what jesus said you shall hear about war and rumors about war you see now there there is a different new war biological war huh you see corona virus novel virus different different viruses you see what is this called as uh, this is biological warfare uh, using uh, viruses to attack and kill mankind more mankind uh, than in the war you see nowadays it is a different warfare nobody goes for the battlefield with a jet plane and everything it is automated the drone they play like video game in the house huh? just by sitting in the army room in the control room they will control everything huh? remote control drone warfare you see this is nothing uh, in future even robots will be used for warfare already so many army are preparing robots so they don't want to lose man and you see uh, humanity should be harmed in the warfare and uh, nuclear warfare you see everybody fears nuclear warfare if russia is going to come for war if america is going to come for war again there will be nuclear bombardment uh, you see russia itself has thousands of uh, you see huh? more than uh, 10000 uh, nuclear warheads seems uh, huh? if all these things are utilized the world can be destroyed several times uh, dear brother you see therefore it says hear about war and rumors about war next continue brother ha hmm matter 247 Yeah, for nations shall rise against nation, See? and nation kingdom shall rise as a nation, kingdom against kingdom. Hmm. Yeah, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine, and uh, pestilence, and earthquake in diverse places. See, there is no need for me to give explanation for this. For nation shall rise against nation. You see, Assam. You see. What has happened uh, in Assam recently? Huh? Yeah. yeah warfare was... between two groups, uh, just a minute difference. Uh, you see? Huh? Then, huh? which group? Uh? Huh? Sri Lanka and LTT. Uh, warfare. Egypt. Uh, warfare. You see? They cooked and uh, made his leader to come down. I killed him on the road. Gaddafi. You see? And... Uh, Saddam Hussein, they are killed by their own people. You see, nation rising against nation, kingdom against kingdom. You see, dear brethren, so these are a clear proof and these are a clear signs. Uh, you see, so what is happening? Uh, huh? Nation against nation, uh, China against India, isn't it? So, uh, unnecessary commotion. Uh, you see, every day there is a friction uh, happening uh, in all over the places, India Uh, Kashmir, Pakistan, you see, and it says kingdom against kingdom, and uh, there should be famine, pestilences. You see, famine. There is no need for me to tell you. Africa, so many people are starving to death without food. You see, and uh, recently in a COVID period also, nobody had uh, sufficient of uh, you see funds, uh, salary, everything was stuck. How many people have died? Uh, you see, what does the Bible say? Uh, famines. Uh, pestilences uh, pestilences mean what uh, pandemics uh, you see suddenly many years before there was only cholera typhoid malaria huh? but now suddenly what type of uh, disease has come heats you see h1n1 ebola uh, now recently nipah virus no vaccine for that one at all you see mass burial of the disease people have as has it taken place uh, since the creation of man no since the creation of man such mass burial has not even happened but dear brother what has happened uh, pestilence is coming like a very huge large scale pestilence that's what the bible says uh, you see pestilence is uh, uh, in various places uh, see when jesus comes uh, when jesus is there before him there will be pestilence as well habakkuk 3:5 habakkuk 3:5 okay brother ah. 
Old Testament. Okay, brother. After Book of Nahum. You can read from verse 4. What is that? Just uh, just a moment, brother. Before Zephania, Agai. I didn't found it. Ah. I will read it. Okay, brother. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. Let him, let him, let him read it. can let him read, please. You okay. can tell the page number. Okay. Uh, got it? Oh, Bible is different. Oh, different. Okay. You got it, brother? What's the brother? Uh, I'm going through the page okay. number. 619. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, you open the index and see. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Get, uh, no problem. I think, third uh, chapter. Uh, Abukup, so third chapter, third verse you read. Three, three, first yeah, you yeah, read. Abukup, chapter third verse four, right, brother? First read verse three. Ah, okay. Avuk of chapter 3rd verse 3. Uh, God came from Teman and the Holy One from Mount Paran. Hmm. Selah. His glory covered the heavens and the earth was full of His praise. Ah, God came. Holy One came. Okay. So it's like you're skipping up Jesus' second coming. Correct. Huh? Now read verse 5. Verse 5, right? Uh -huh. Before him went the pestilence uh -huh. and burning. Uh -huh. yeah. Burning coils went forth at his feet. See, before him went pestilences. As Jesus, you see, presence is there. What is there before him? Pestilences. This is a sign of Lord's. Presence not coming. Huh? What is it? Famine and earthquake. Huh? Recently, what happened? Nepal. Earthquake. Earthquake. Huh? Oh, your lot of earthquake. Pakistan earthquake. Turkey. Your entire Turkey was destroyed. No, brother. Yeah. Armenia. Oh, your. Huh? Lot of places. Gujarat. Guj. You see? The place was completely disastered. Indonesia. Earthquake happened. What happened? Tsunami raised. Japan, how many times uh, you see earthquake has happened and tsunami has come? You see, it's become very common use, tsunami. So, these are the signs of Jesus' presence not coming. Now, this one, this earthquake and this flood, uh, how it will be? It will not be in a very small scale. It will be in a very large scale, it seems. Jesus says, look, 21st chapter with that. Open your Bible to Luke 24 chapter. See, Matthew 24 chapter, brother. Luke 21. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you or note it down. Matthew 24 chapter. Okay, Matthew 24. And Verse. Mark 13 chapter. Uh, Mark 13. And Luke okay, 17 Mark. chapter. Mark 13. And Luke uh. 21st chapter. All these four chapters are parallel. Yeah, brother. Okay, which one tell me, Matthew? Matthew 24. Ah, Mark? Mark 12. 13. Mark 13. Ah, Luke? Luke 24. 21. No, 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 no. Luke 17 chapter. Luke 17. Chapter, entire chapter. Ah, okay. And Luke 21st chapter, entire chapter. Luke 21st, right? Ah. Okay, brother, yeah. These four chapters are parallel, brother. Okay, brother. Okay, so the same incidents are mentioned again again in the four Gospels, three Gospels. Got it? Yeah. yeah. Now let us read how this famine, pestilences, earthquake will be. Look, 21st chapter, 25 and 26, slowly you read. Then let them... Which are in Judah, no. flew to the mountains. Luke, 21st chapter, 25 and 26. 
ah sorry brother and there shall be sign in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nation see in the earth distress of nations uh, with uh, plex, perplexity. perplexity the sea and the waves roaring see the sea and the waves roaring tsunami how it will be continue hmm. continue continue with that brother uh, 26 continue with that men's heart failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth uh, for the power of heaven shall be second see, this uh, sea and waves roaring it will be in such a way that men's heart failing them for the fear and for looking after those things it seems that they fear it caused fear among mankind. Seeing the tsunami, seeing this scene, imagine what will happen to mankind. He don't know what to do. You build any dam, it will get crashed down. You see, so many floods has happened, no? In North India, you see, in Afghanistan, in Pakistan, you see, what has happened? You see, even China also. Every dam has gone crashed open. You see? Nobody is able to control it. That is the way. Uh, why? Seeing all these things, uh, what is coming up on the earth, uh, men shall lose their heart. It seems. Today, that is the condition. Uh, these are all the signs of what? Uh, not the Lord's coming, but the Lord's day. Uh, Jesus' presence is a sign. Now, one more presence, one more sign for the Lord's presence is in Matthew 24, 15. Read Matthew 24 15, brother. So, brother Matthew 24 15 is written like this. Hmm. When you therefore shall see the ambinations of dissolution spoken of by Daniel the prophet. Stand in the holy place. Whoso read, let him understand. See, Jesus says, uh, Therefore, uh, when you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Uh, whoso read, let him understand. So what is this abomination of desolation? We already studied that this is about the great antichrist system. The abomination that make it desolate that is mentioned in Daniel. You see? Huh? 12th chapter, the abomination that make it desolate, the great antichrist system. We have studied the great antichrist system, the number 666. This is not a literal number, but that is the number you see that is there in the mention and the title of the great antichrist system, Vicarious Philidi, the 666. We already studied that the antichrist has come, antichrist main period is over. So, this is a sign that. Uh, we are living in the Lord's presence. Now, one more sign Jesus gives us in Matthew 24, 23 and 24, brother. Same Matthew 24 chapter, 23 and 24. Okay, 24, 23 and 24. Okay, brother. Oh. Uh, uh, then, if any man shall say unto you, Lo, there is Christ or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall see great sign and owners prophecies uh, sorry, in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. See, false Christ, false prophets shall come and do what? Show great signs and wonders. It will be in such a level, this miracles, signs and wonders, that it will, be, if it possible, it will deceive the very elect, it seems. Huh? Such great signs and wonders. You see, suddenly, you no, know, just charismatic moment, healing, miracles, huh? it's happening. Huh? Does it happen to everybody? No. Why? No. Jesus did for everybody. He did not spare anyone. He even did for the unbelievers, those who didn't have faith, those who requested him to increase their faith. 
Jesus healed them also. But today we can see in this great meeting, only a few people will be healed. You see, Jesus says, don't believe those who show great signs and wonders because these are all false Christ. Deceiving the very Christians, very elect. Therefore, we are living in this day where these things are happening before our very eyes. So this is a clear sign that uh, you see we are living in the Lord's presence, not Lord's coming. Now one more sign is given to us in uh, Matthew 24, 12, brother. Read, brother, verse 12. Yeah, Matthew 24, 12, brother. Yeah, Matthew 24, verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cloud. See, because iniquity shall abound. So iniquity means not sin. Vulgarity in this world. You see, disco, club, bar. You see, the vulgarity has gone to such an extent that women are marrying women. Men are marrying men. You see, lesbian, homosexuality. And people that don't even wear proper clothes at all. You see, very, very short. So as much as short is there, you see, they feel it's a pride to walk uh, in the road. Isn't it? And uh, men wearing uh, female clothes and a female wearing uh, men's cloth. This is totally abomination which God forbids in the Bible. God clearly says this abomination in the sight of God. And today's hair cutting and beard and all, various, various types. You see, what does the Bible say? Those who do these things are abomination in God's sight. Putting tattoo. Huh? These are all uh, against the law which God clearly gave to the people of Israel. What does the Bible say? Because of iniquity abounding. The chances to sin is abounding. Many people's love for the Lord will definitely wax cold. You see? Now, how many people are ready to listen to the gospel? Ready to listen to the Bible? Go for the Bible study. Not many. They will have a lot of opportunity to sin, commit. Uh, you see, lot of uh, activities. Uh, you see, because the world is like that. Uh, everything is there in the, you see, mobile. You can enjoy whatever you want. Uh, nobody knows. But uh, that is the sign of the Lord's uh, presence. Not the Lord's coming. Read one more, uh, you see, sign. Uh, you see, uh, Jesus gives us, uh, it is given in uh, uh, same uh, chapter, uh, verse 14, brother. Matthew 24, 14, brother. Uh. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world of a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. See, the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached to all the nations. So this one was fulfilled when the Bible, as per the Bible society, the Bible was translated into all the languages of this world and translated and given to everybody. You see, though not all have accepted these verses, it shall be for a witness. You see, there is no place or no person who doesn't know about Jesus. Every person knows about Jesus. Though they are not accepted. That is not the point here. He says, it shall be for a witness. Bible and Jesus Christ's knowledge is given to the world. This is also a sign of the Lord's presence. Okay, now one more sign is given in Matthew 24, 29, brother. Read, Matthew 24, 29, brother. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give on her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven. And the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. You see, the sun and the moon shall become dark, it seems, and stars shall fall. Now, when did the sun and the moon get darker? You see, it got dark when? In May 191780. It was in America, you see, and uh, the entire sun, completely the sun was darkened at noon. So, suddenly it got darkened. And the uh, entire legislation was closed. All the schools were shut down. All the government offices uh, were closed. And all the birds returned to the nest. You see, this is recorded for us because it's happened in America. This would have happened in various other places also. Because those uh, are not superstitious people. They have recorded in their books for us. But other people, other places, as they were superstitious, this phenomena would have happened many times they wouldn't have recorded because they had their false belief. They would have offered sacrifices to the gods. Hence, this one is also fulfilled. And the very next day, 
the moon was darkened for more than 24 hours. It is in May 20th, 1780. And the stars falling, this is not the literal stars, this is the shooting stars, the meteoric showers. This one also we are seeing, you see, this is also happening uh, very rapidly. So these are all the signs of the Lord's presence. And one more sign is given is uh, in Matthew 24, 21, brother. Matthew 24, 21. For then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. See, there should be no. great tribulation. You see, which was yeah. not since the beginning of the world, not till now, nor ever shall be such type of tribulation as himself. That is the day which we are living now. You see, the troubles which we are facing, as any of the man can face, as any of the man can see, this uh, nuclear warfare, as any of the man can see, the world wars, uh, or, or else have they seen any of the pandemics, uh, or else have they seen any of this uh, huge inflammation uh, in the market, uh, uh, job loss, uh, and uh, you see, and so much of poverty, so much of difficulty, all over severe pressure, as any of the man can see, no, so he says, there should be great tribulation, as what not since the beginning of the nation, see, Everywhere, trouble, 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 problem, problem, problem is coming upon each and every one. This is the sign of the Lord's second presence. Therefore, you see, the Lord's day in the Bible is compared to a dark day. A day with full of clouds. So let us read a few verses. Uh, Zephania, Zephania, you, you better read Joel, brother. Joel 2-2, two, two, you read, brother. Because the same verse with Jesus says, it comes in Joel. Joel, second chapter, second verse. Brother, I will read from the screen. Please, please read. Yeah. A day of darkness and gloominess, gloominess, a day of cloud and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong. There hath not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it. Mm -hmm. Even to the years of many generations. See, this is the word Jesus quotes. You see, there Jesus clearly tells it's a great time of trouble. Here it says, it is a day of darkness, a day of gloomness, a day of clouds, of thick darkness. You see, it shall not be like that at all. Now, therefore, see here, this great time of trouble is compared to a day of clouds. The clouds means what? Once when the clouds come completely covered, you'll be covered full darkness on the earth. You see, these clouds, the meaning of the clouds, the dark clouds in the Bible means trouble. Therefore, it says, no, you see, the day of darkness, the day of clouds, that is the day of trouble. Therefore, in the Bible, clouds always means trouble. Therefore, we read, no, Jesus comes upon clouds. Correct, no, brother? Every eye shall see him. In Revelation 1 7, correct, huh? Yeah, brother. Now, what is the meaning of clouds? Clouds means trouble. Jesus is going to come in the trouble. And that is how the people will understand that it is Jesus who is doing all these things. Therefore, Revelation 1 7 is a symbolic verse. You see? And uh, 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 let us read one more sign in uh, Matthew 24 32, brother. Matthew 24 32, brother. Yeah, okay. Now, learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is a tender and put on for leaves, you know that summer is night. Ah, you see, Jesus tells in the signs which he gives, one of the signs he gives is the parable of the fig tree. He says, when you see the parable of fig tree, the fig tree is sprouting, understand that summer is near. Now, what is the meaning of this one? Let us go to the parallel chapter. Luke, brother. Luke 21st chapter. Verse 29 to 31, brother. The same verse is given in book of Luke. Luke 21st chapter 29 to 31, brother. And he spake to them a parable. Behold the fig tree and all the trees. When they now stood forth, you see and know of your own slips that somebody is now high at hand. So likewise you, when you see these things come to pass, know you that the kingdom of God is night ah, at hand. See, brother, he says, Behold the parable of the fig tree. When he shoots forth, know yourself that the kingdom of God is very near. 
Now, what is this parable of fig tree? Parable means what? Not direct statement. The fig tree dried, the dry fig tree will sprout its seems. Now, when did uh, Jesus uh, dry the fig tree? Did he curse any fig tree that he dried completely? Yeah. Yes. When? Mm, when he was hungry. Correct. He saw the fig then, tree. Uh, yeah, he thought uh, it, it would be having a lot of fruits. When he came near, what was there? But that wasn't any yes, fruit. Was there. So he cursed the fig tree. Now what is the fig tree? What is the meaning of fig tree in the Bible? Fig tree in the Bible means nation of Israel. What brother? It means nation of? Israel. Israel. Read Osea 9.10. Book of Osea 9.10. You can read from the screen. Yep, uh, I'm coming. I'm coming on the book, brother. Okay. After book of Daniel. Yes, 19 is written here. Hmm. Uh, I found Israel like grapes in uh, the wind. Write it down, I found Israel. Continue. Then. Uh, I found Israel like grapes in the wilderness. I saw your father as the first trips in the fig tree at her hmm. first time. See? I saw your fathers as the first tribe in the fig tree. Uh -huh. Israel's fathers are like the fig fruit, which is a tree, the nation of Israel. So, nation of Israel in the Bible means the fig tree. Okay? So, Jesus at the first advent saw the fig tree. Nation of Israel went very far. He came very near to take the fruits. But no fruit was there. Only a few apostles and few disciples. So, he cursed the nation of Israel. Israel was scattered, but uh, Israel got independence and regathered in May 14, 1948. We got a subject about Israel. We should go in detail in the coming days. Okay, brother? So, yeah, this okay, brother. Uh, regathering of Israel and Israel getting independence is a beautiful and a clear sign that we are living in the Lord's day. Not that Jesus is coming. Jesus has come. His presence is there. Hence, Israel has been gathered. We will prove completely a lot of scriptures are there. Two hours classes there. Okay. Now, that parable, that verse in Luke, it also says, huh? behold the parable, behold the fig tree and read. Read that verse again. Luke 21. Luke 21. 29, brother. Twenty-one, twenty-nine. Okay, brother. And he spake to them a parable. Behold the fig tree and all the trees. Ah, wait. When... Fig tree and all the trees. Fig tree means nation of Israel. All the other trees means? All the nations. Very good. All the nations. Very good. So, if you see in the world census, since 1947, there are more than 60 countries have got independence. India, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, you see Hong Kong. In Africa, it's more than 40. You can go and Google and search it. So this is the sign of the Lord's presence, not coming. Now, one of the beautiful signs is given in the book of Daniel. Let us read. Daniel 12, 4, brother. But do O Daniel sort up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase. This is the sign of Jesus' second coming. We'll we'll tell you in detail in the coming class. But he says, what is the sign? Man shall run to and fro, knowledge shall increase. What is man running to and fro? That means transportation. See. Just 50 years before, what was the mode of transportation? It was only cart. But now, in the mode of transportation, it is, you see, rapidly increased. You see, car. 
which travels at the most per kilometer more than 120 200 kilometers sir you see that is the way the knowledge has increased man is uh, using running to and fro the transportation has increased rapidly earlier uh, you see the train was just a coal train but now electronic train in japan no need for me to tell you the train travels at the more than 600 700 km speed you see that is a man shall run to and fro you see and earlier plane how was the plane huh? just a small uh, huh? when right brothers invented the plane but today man by the plane is going to space for space station returning back safely to earth you see this is uh, the way the man is running to and fro see today morning i had breakfast in nepal now dinner i'm going to have in my home you see this is the way you see man is running to and fro that is what is happening to your brain you see man is traveling at the uh, huh? speed you see earlier uh, there used to be huh? petrol and diesel now electric vehicles you see hydrogen vehicles uh, these are the signs uh, that uh, man shall run to and fro you see transportation isaac newton he was a bible student uh, he studied all these verses and said in future man shall travel at the speed of 60 km per hour the world laughed at him but today if anybody travels less than 60 km they will tell oh you are very slow please go fast see, that is the way the world is uh, you see and what does the bible say knowledge shall increase increase in knowledge just see this uh, video brother see on the table what are items are there but uh, you see as the days uh, as the you see the years goes on everything in table is vanished you can see that is a humanoid uh, you see that is in uh, dubai ha uh, humanoid she looks like a you see ha uh, what uh, she looks like a uh, human being but actually she is a robot uh, you see that is how uh, what is happening ah uh, 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 technology is uh, changing uh, so uh, this is all uh, a sign uh, so earlier earlier uh, what was man using a uh, man was using a uh, 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 computer and our computer used to be so big uh, that uh, we needed a ac but now today what is happening uh, what uh, everybody are you using uh, everybody is using laptop now laptop is also outdated tab you see uh, earlier phone used to be there the phone used to be very uh, landline connections but now each and every person has a you see mobile in the hand the fingertips uh, you can have video calls uh, all over the world the technology has changed everyone so increase in knowledge uh, take it from pin a small pin to the spacecraft everything is invented recently in last 50 years uh, this is the blessing of the lord's return the lord's second presence not the lord's is going to come every app is there everything you can have it just in a small mobile you can even take print out you see if i give a print out from here to your place it will come so such is the rapid technology this is the sign of the lord's presence and uh, yeah, you see these are some of the inventions uh, okay? you see that is going to happen uh, uh, in the, the coming days uh, you see so the agriculture uh, technology uh, the mankind has uh, developed uh, uh, we can see this one uh one minute ha uh, you can see the hybrid fruits uh, that are grown ha uh, even in israel uh. see how the fruits and vegetables are harvested uh. it's not uh, like uh, uh, many years before the man is going to uh, do the work in a field everything is done mechanically by the machines uh. you see automatically the harvest happens uh, you see the fruits are gathered and immediately they washed they cleaned and then filtered and packed and immediately loaded on the vehicle this is a sign of increase in knowledge uh. so you see this is uh, uh, a future technology you see that is going to happen uh, you see slowly even the mobiles also will be faded away so this is going to be a a uh, new what do you say a google uh, thing where you can track each and every person just with a small uh, eye lens you can identify uh, and uh, everything will be on your eyes only the everything the computer the mobile uh, so every things will be handled like this one this is a 
uh, increase in knowledge. These are all the blessings of the Lord's presence. Now, the last sign, let us read in 1 Corinthians 4 5, brother. 1 Corinthians 4 5. Therefore, those nothing before the time, until the Lord come, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and will make manifest the counsels of the hearts, and then shall every man have praise of God. See, uh, just nothing before the time, until the Lord comes, who shall bring every hidden thing to light. Uh, see, every secret thing, whatever the people have done, is kind of coming to light. Therefore, we can see all the scandals, huh? drug mafia, let it be any minister, even Bill Clinton, America president was not spared. He was brought trial before the whole public. You see, and recently Donald Trump also is brought to public. So, every scandal, every theft, every, you see, unnecessary and uh, wrong things that people are doing, everything is coming to light. This is the sign of the Lord's presence, Lord's day, not uh, Jesus coming. So these are all the presents uh, that dear brethren, uh, that uh, Jesus has returned. Okay? So this is a very clear proof that Jesus has returned. Now, in the next class, uh, what we are going to study is that uh, uh, see, I'll just revise on some small points. So first part we studied why Jesus is going to come. Second point we revised the general expectations of Jesus coming. And third part, we saw how Jesus comes, is going to come in an invisible way. In the fourth part, we saw how to identify that invisible Jesus. It is only through the signs. And in the fifth part, we are going to see when Jesus has returned. Okay? So, till now, four parts are over. Uh, fifth part is pending. We will coming in the, we'll see in the coming next week. Okay, brother? So, you yeah, have any doubts? Brother, means... Uh, presence means he has uh, he is already here with us right in this world yes yeah so next week uh, we are going to learn about learn about when he has returned if he has returned if his presence is with us now when he has returned what is the date so when he will return from this presence no, no, no. When he has returned in his presence, not from his presence, he has already ah. returned. The ah, return when he has returned, right. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. When he be... He, uh, I got it, brother. When he has returned, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. When he has already returned. When did he return? When did he come back? Yeah. Okay? So, we'll see when yeah. he has come back. The dates we'll see next week. Okay, brother. Okay. Uh, any doubts, any questions, brother, Mosa, brother? Yeah, no, no, nothing, brother. Okay, I'll send you notes also. I hope, brother, Ashish also will send you the notes so you can go through. So, any uh, doubts, any questions, you can ask differently. Okay, brother, yeah, okay, okay.